Welcome. I've come to give you some information today. My name is Maria Ibarra. Most of you that received this video already know my name, but for those of you who don't, my name is Maria Ibarra. I'm a business and financial consultant, and I've been doing it for 43 years. People have come and gone out of the industry. Not many consultants in the Mexican American community. Um, why? Because you have to. Most of us are self-employed, and uh, in order to be self-employed, I'm giving you a brief introduction. What it means to be self-employed. When you're self-employed, you pay for your own health insurance, disability insurance. There's no unemployment. There's none of these things. But is there a benefit to being self-employed? Yes. You set your own hours. You make as much money as you want to make. You're as motivated as you want to be. And no one tells you when to take your lunch hour and when do you go home. So you are kind of your own boss because you do answer to the beat of your clients. And with that said, I welcome you. My name is Maria Ibarra. I'm 67 years old. I'm a brain aneurysm survivor by the grace and mercy of God. I give him glory, thanks, and praise in Jesus' name. And I hope you're all blessed by this video. I haven't done these videos for a while because I do a lot of reels and they get a lot of looks. And I haven't been able to pick up a lot of subscribers. So I'm asking you, please, if you watch this video, subscribe and share it with people. Because I can only continue to educate you if people subscribe and people are benefited from these videos. It takes time, it takes effort, and it takes energy. And it's actually money because it's time out of my work day. So I'm here today to bring you a different type of video. Why is that? First of all, I usually do my video standing up and this is sitting down. And why? Because I want to go have some straight talk with you. I just did one in Spanish, but it's similar to this. There's a lot of fraud. There's a lot of deception. There's a lot of confusion in the business world. And the business world involves anything from buying a pin to a house. From the smallest purchase I don't know if you can do anything with a penny these days because I don't even think you'll put that in the traffic meter to your largest purchase. The next purchase before the largest is a car. And then of course you have all these investments and you have weddings and you have celebrations and you do business. Every morning when you wake up, you do business. And what happens when you do business? When you do business and you wake up, the bottom line that you're doing is you become an actor in the world stage, actors and actresses. And those that act the best, look the best, talk the best, smell the best, walk the best, and know a lot of people do better. How do I know this? I've studied it. I do have a degree also in sociology, and sociology is a study of people, persons, and institutions. So I'm not talking to you just standing here because I have some, no education, no experience, and no, for, and you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been in business since the age of 13 and I have proof of that. And I have been serving the American community here in America and now I'm global. I've been global for many years now, for many, many years, even before the technology, because if there's a will, there's a way. So if you're looking to empower yourself today, don't do it by surrounding yourself with negative people going to negative places and listening to all the stuff you've heard for years. Sometimes we're brought up a certain way, but you have to shake it off and just keep on going. So today, this video is to tell you to quit believing all the lies that everything has to be done this way. Jesus on the cross, he was laid out on the cross like this. He went vertical and he went horizontal. When you are in life, there's a nucleus, it's in the center, and then it's like a pie, you know, around, and it goes all around. You have to learn to be a well-rounded person. Is it important? You better believe it. Sometimes people say, it doesn't matter how I look, it doesn't matter how I say, it doesn't matter. People judge you, including myself, by how you talk, by how you look, by how you walk, by how you smell, your bad breath. A lot of things that people think don't matter, they do. A lot of people think, you know what, I'm all tattooed up. You know what, it doesn't matter. Go look for a professional job and expose all those tattoos. And let's see how many people, you know, they'll say, we'll call you back. Appearance matters. 
I've got a book. It's called The Four Success Factors. Self-esteem, self attitude, appearance, and image. Looks count. Appearance count. The words. People can't even communicate these days. How I, I hardly ever communicate with people who don't have good written language skills. But every now and then, I'll get something from someone and I can't even make what they're saying. This time, you know, I know this is a generation where people watch a lot of these TV programs. They say, what's up? Hey, dude, what's happening? Or people are still like in the old that backwards days, like saying, good kid, good at a girl. All of this stuff. No, some of these words are even illegal. They're, they're, they're sexist or they're or they discriminate and they're prejudiced. It doesn't mean they discriminate because of your color or creed or your race. It just means they discriminate because they put you at the bottom and them on the top. Learn to flourish in life. This video is about flourishing and I'm putting it out because I spoke to a good friend of mine in Sonoma County and he says, Maria, so many people who are Mexican Americans are getting defrauded by their own people. Their houses are being taken. They're signing for people, for cars. They don't even understand the legal ramifications of things when they do business. So I'm here today, not as an attorney, but as a consultant to tell you that when you sign on the dotted line, you have signed for a liability, for a debt. When people say, can you just lend me your signature, just co-sign, and you know, in six months, I'll take it off. It's not that easy. Or co-sign for me in a house, I'll take it off. Do you realize that when you co-sign for someone in a house and you don't own, co or you're a co-borrower rather, and you don't own a house, you are no longer a first-time home buyer. You eliminate the possibility of you being able to buy a home with little or no money down because there are down payment assistance programs where you can get in with have practically no money down because of the assistance that there is this, these days. If you're out there right now and you're like paying rent and you know, or you're evicted or you got thrown out of your house or you got defrauded out of your house and bezeled out of your house, if there's a will, there's a way. For God says, what's impossible with man is possible with God. And with him, all things are possible. For those of you right now, and I'm going off a little bit on a tangent, and that's okay because I have to bring in a lot of information in the 15, 20 minutes I talk to you. If you're feeling sick and low and under, in Genesis 1, the Lord says, For I give you herbs and plants to eat and heal yourself with. Man, don't be stuck on stupid. Get up. Make yourself fatigued. Look it up in the internet. See what helps this or what helps that. Get moving. Physical exercise helps you feel better. It increases the endorphins in your brain. If you're not a good reader, if you're not a good speaker, find someone who is. Learn to leverage yourself. For God says, faith in deeds, faith in deeds. You got to have faith in God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. For God said, I give you my son. And whatever you ask in the name of my son to give me glory and praise and thanks, it shall be given to you if you believe that when you receive. And then Jesus said, I do not leave you nor forsake you, but I leave you someone more powerful than I who will live in you who will lead you, guide you, and counsel you, who will raise you every day as I am here today. And that is our most Holy Spirit. And then, since Jesus shed his blood on the cross, we cover ourselves and yourselves with the blood of Jesus. So what are you waiting for? You should be strong. You should be ambitious. You should be positive. In the Bible, Job lost everything in the first half of his life. And then in the second half, he was more prosperous. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, it's because you're not reading the Word of God. And if you're not reading it, it's okay. Listen to it on tapes, on CDs, on TBN, Daystar. Get together with people who believe in Jesus. You know, all this partying and nowadays, it makes me sick. It literally makes me sick when I'm in a home or in a place and somebody vapes right next to me. There's no more respect. Morality has evaded us. Ethics have evaded us. What? Pre pedophiles? All these pe people who hurt kids? get less time in jail than people who abuse animals okay and there are animal rights activists but god said we are to have domain over animals okay but for our children we're supposed to protect them our elderly widows are being taken advantage of by so many people in the book of the lord it says that in the last days men will be lovers of self lovers of money they will go into 
single women's house and take advantage of their weaknesses. Women will be filled with lust of themselves and lust for others. Likewise with men, with all this crazy sexuality that's going on nowadays. Protect your mind, your spirit, your body, your soul. Help yourself, help others. But you can't do it without the mighty word of God. And the mighty word of God is what gives you the force, the supernatural force, that force that we have. There's no Star Wars. There's no Jedi or stuff like that. You know, there is in the movies. Excuse me for saying that because they do exist in the movies. I correct that. But the power that we have comes from above. For God said, as in heaven, as in earth, I give to you. And we say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. In Psalm 91, it says, Thou ask and the Lord shall send his angels to guard you, that you shall not even hit your foot upon a stone, that you shall have long life and salvation, and that he will guard you in all your ways, that the pestilence at noon will not affect you, nor any of the what surrounds you with, you know, all these evil things that come to you, because he will raise you up above that. In Psalm 92, for those of you that are over the age of 40, 50, and the Lord says, and I promise you, to give you strength and vigor that you will remain green like the cedars of Lebanon. What are we waiting for, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Maria Ibarra, 559-681-0853, 559-681-0853. The, the School of Christology is coming, and that's for reals. And the School of Christology, what that will be doing, and we will be embarking, is on teaching you the four IQs, the financial the credit, which credit is independent of financial because financial is your finances once you've got them set. But your credit is the adult report card. Why is the adult report card important? Why is a report card important when you're in school? You either pass or fail. The same thing goes with the adult report card. If you don't have good credit, you fail. You can't buy cars. You can't buy homes. You can't get cell phones. Why? And if you do get them, you get them at enormous interest rates. For example, a $100,000 loan, be it so, if you can find one, okay, at a 3% interest rate, the payment's 300. At a four and a half interest rate, it's 450. At a 7% interest rate with bad credit, it's 700. You do the numbers. You're better off with that $300 payment. Not only credit, but also physicality. We need to fix our physical selves that comes from within. Why does it come from within? Because we eat with our brain. There's a brain-gut connection. And most important of all is the spirit. If you've been defrauded, embezzled, stolen from, evicted, thrown out, if you're being treated horribly, you don't get along, your neighbors are mean, your husband or wife is in jail, now's the time to look for people like me. Believe me, if people come to me, I always pray with them first. And I say, Jesus first. And then we're going to ask. Because the Lord said, whatever you ask in my name, to give me glory, praise, and thanks. Like I say in all my videos, and I said earlier, it shall be done if you believe that you receive. And if two or three are, mar are gathered in my name, it shall be done. But you can't be praying for one thing and the other person, another thing and the other. You got to be it in union, the meeting of the minds. Is everything possible? Yes, it is. It's possible. But you got to get organized. For a lot of you who say, I can't even buy a house, I can't buy a car, I can't even get a cell phone, or I got to call this person who did me wrong. You know what? Pray for that person who did you wrong and move on. And then once you get your house situation, your car situation, your person out of jail, once you get all of this stuff done, and I say jail because this last week I got like five people who were calling me for bail bondsmen, and I, I'm not one for sure. I'm, I'm a business and financial consultant, and I do have a real estate license, and I do do commercial loans, and I do a lot of spiritual educating. I like to give education and information and motivation. A lot of stuff's happening in the world. We do live in very turbulent times, and we've all 
always lived in turbulent times. Now it's just more exposed because of the media. But you're fighting a battle. We fight a daily battle. For in the book of Ephesians, it says, we do not fight against flesh and blood. You're not fighting against the person who did you wrong or your husband or wife who went out on you or this or that. You're fighting against multiple demons and spirits that are in that person through their spiritual genealogy. And we teach you that. Unless you learn how to deal with spiritual genealogy, no matter what you do with life, you're not going to understand when you get these blows. A lot of the stuff that you're experiencing is generational. You have to learn to pray those off. Not dust off. Pray those off. And Jesus told people when he commanded them in the Great Commission to go out into all the world, into all of creation. But for those people that did not accept the word of God, he said, dust yourselves off and let your blessing be removed and come with you. I'm happy to say that I've got my granddaughter, I've got my, my daughter, my grandson who work with me. I have multiple people who assist because it's important. We're dealing with the four IQs, intellectual, financial, physical, and spiritual. And it takes that. The School of Christology is on Saturdays. Okay, we're looking for a new location right now. But if you call me, again, my name is Maria Ibarra, 559-681-0853. If you know me already, it's probably because you got referred by me because I don't do a lot of whole lot, a lot of advertising because through all the years, I've been very fortunate that my good name and my good reputation that the Lord has given me, glory be to God in Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Spirit and blood of Jesus cover me and all of you. And whatever you're going through, remember, this too shall pass. This too shall pass, but you got to do it by faith. And you can go to church and you can pray all you want and you can scream and holler and do all of this stuff. But your hallelujah has to come from in here. Your hallelujah has to come from in here. Your hallelujah has to come from in here. Not from here, not from here, not from here. And if you go with a bunch of happy people who sit around and say, Oh, how are you doing, brother? Oh, great, sister. You know they're damn well lying because everybody's carrying a cross and everybody's going through something. So you're better off uniting with someone like me, going through Jesus and getting strong and getting empowered and saying, Man, through God, all things are possible, and we better get going here and get rid of the negative people, places, or things. And if you don't dress up, dress up. If you don't put on a good smelling perfume, go buy something that you can rub on you that makes you smell good. Be appealing, because every day we're actors and actresses in the world of God on here on earth. You know, there was kings and queens in the Bible, and we are kings and queens of our homes, our children are princesses and princes, but we don't treat them that way because society has taught us all these ugly, dirty words. And we're here to heal and give hope and be light and be the salt of the earth. But people aren't doing that. People are falling into the, the ways of the world. You know what? We are in the world, but not of the world. And if we're not of the world, even though we're in it, we can practice kingdom behavior and kingdom behavior gets you here like me i had a brain surgery i'm a brain surgery survivor i have 16 brain clips in my head a titanium plate holding my head together with fibrogen glue four bolts two screws and you know what i'm here by the grace and mercy of god and you say but i've gone through this well you haven't had your head cut open most of you have had gallbladder problems because that's because of cholesterol and eating a lot of fat a lot of you have this or have that but through God, all things are possible. I'm 67 years old and I'm here with you guys. And when I get done, I'm going to go shopping. Then I'm going to walk my five miles that I walk every day. Then I'm going to eat something delicious. You know, I do watch certain things because in the name of Jesus, pray that my cholesterol comes down. And I pray that your blood sugars come down. The A1C levels come down. I pray that blood pressure come down. Everything comes down and be more than normal. And we give ourselves blood transfusions right now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural. And receive blood, re receive the blood of Jesus right now in Holy Communion by a supernatural communion. And you know what? If you don't, you don't have to eat your three meals a day. If you feel better eating less, eat less. Because you know what? Sit with the Holy Spirit and let that be your nutrition. The financial audits for those of you that don't know how to manage your finances, we can do that. We can help clear up some of your income by helping you figure out how to manage them. You know, if you got a poor and a broken spirit, 
that's not from God. Everything negative that comes isn't from God. Move it aside. Move it aside. Move it aside. Why? Because God is light. God is the force. Look, I'm sitting here and I'm wearing black against white. But the white is much is bright, right? And the black, if I go into a dark room, it won't be seen. But this white will. You are the salt of the world. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine again. Maybe you've been through three or four marriages, 10 or 15 relationships. Maybe you feel like a quip dog. Your spirit is broken. Your finances are bad. But if you start brand new right now, in the name of Jesus, you will be a new person for we renew our minds daily in the name of Jesus. And I ask that you subscribe to my channel and pass this on and let's get going. Let's move and shake the world. Let's unite. Call me. We can do prayer groups for your family, for your organization. There's so much that we can do. More prayer is more power. You know, I can't tell you any more than that because quite frankly, to be real frank with you, you've got to believe it. And once you pray, you'll receive it. And you're going to believe it. And then I hope you too will do what Jesus asked us. To give the word of God to all of creation. It doesn't matter what church you go to. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter where you go to do your corporate prayer. They should always be saying, because I know the churches that I go to, they say, go in peace and spread the word of God. I'm spreading the word of God because God says, and the feet of those who spread my word will be blessed. That means you're going to be blessed. So I receive the blessing of Jesus. I give you the blessing in Jesus name. Go out and be a blessing. Don't be a whiner. If you talk negative, you're going to get negative. If you talk positive, you're going to get positive. And right now I got something positive to share. I just received a fully, perfectly formed, with no disabilities at all, brand new great grandson. May the Lord be upon him. And look at this, another generation. My family doesn't have birth defects, doesn't have mental disorders. In the name of Jesus, by the grace of God, God bless my daughter, my grandchildren, and everyone who's around us, and you guys too. Go out and just do the sign of the cross. Pray with your grandchildren. It's not hard to do. I do it daily. Give them blessings because of what, what God has blessed, no one can remove that blessing. So you go out and you bless the world. God bless you. Live in your blessing. And you know what, guys? Just be positive because it sure works.